And now we're cutting across to live visuals of the president of Myanmar who is touched down in New Delhi to attend uh, Modi's oath-taking ceremony is then given an official welcome with bouquets at all. When mind the president of Myanmar arriving in New Delhi, he is one of them, one of the many global leaders who have been invited for the swearing in ceremony that uh, takes place uh, at 7 p.m. in the time tonight. And these are the latest visuals of the latest dignitary who has reached India. The president of Myanmar being accorded a red carpet welcome as it touches down in New Delhi. And as soon as these arrived, he's been whisked away for some rest and recuperation before the ceremony that takes place uh, later in the evening at 7 p.m. India time, as I've been telling you. Now, the swearing in ceremony will be attended by 14 heads of state, ambassadors of various nations, public intellectuals, political activists, Film stars and celebrities are also slated to attend the ceremony tonight. And the most significant group of leaders at the ceremony, however, will be the leaders of the BIMSTEC nations. Now, why is the invitation to the BIMSTEC nations as leaders significant? Well, first of all, BIMSTEC is the acronym for Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation. And the group of countries comprises five South Asian nations of India, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bhutan and Bangladesh. And the two Southeast Asian nations of Myanmar and Thailand. Remember, Pakistan is not included in the above list and this signals India's efforts to further isolate Pakistan diplomatically and look eastward instead. BIMSTEC has been present as a regional grouping since the year 1997 but hasn't been fully active. India has been giving the group a steady impetus. Now this is part of a carefully crafted diplomatic strategy to engage all of its neighbors except Pakistan. India has wanted to limit its diplomatic engagements with Pakistan because of its continued support for cross-border terrorism. And hence, inviting the leaders of BIMSTEC nations aids India's prerogative of keeping healthy neighborly relations with BRICS and SARC nations, but isolating Pakistan at the same time. 